So welcome back to another episode of the things we already know about FIFA 21. This is episode 2 in this series. Episode 1 came out a few weeks ago before EA Play. Basically, with this series, I'm running through all the confirmed news and very likely news that I've covered about FIFA 21 over the last few months. So today, we're going to have some more things that we already know about FIFA 21. Now, if you do go on to enjoy today's video, please leave a like because it always helps the videos when you leave a like. So even though we've got over 168,000 subscribers on this channel, we've still got a big majority of you guys watching the videos but not subscribed. If you want to know all the latest FIFA 21 news, this will be the best spot. Make sure you subscribe today and join the other side. And if you want to buy some of the best Real Life Ultimate Team cards, you can customize these however you want. You can get them as a gift or for yourself. Make sure you check out the link in the description and use my code VAPEX for 10% off. So we have some confirmed FIFA 21 news and it's got to do with some face scans. So back in January, I believe, of 2020, Alvaro Gonzalez put up on his Instagram, and this guy plays for Marseille, by the way, that uh, Pippa Benedetto was scanned for FIFA 21. He's in the booth where everyone knows uh, that's where the players get scanned and you can see the player there sitting there getting his photo taken from different angles and uh, it's a little clip there. Uh, it was a story, so you can't really watch it anymore, but those people that like screen recorded it would have uh, the video evidence saved to their devices and that, like I have. And yeah, that was uh, the first bit of leaks for the face scanning for Fever 21. Now, some people were thinking maybe a French League scan is going to be happening. I haven't seen much evidence to support that at the moment. This scan comes from a partner club because EA and Marseille are official partners. So that lets them scan the players if they really want to and do some other marketing stuff around the team as well. So that's why they were scanned. I haven't seen many other French League clubs. I think this was the only one, to be honest getting scanned for FIFA 21, so maybe there's no French League scan, it's just Marseille getting new faces for FIFA 21, but sometimes they scan the players and the faces don't even turn up, so the only thing I can tell you is that at least they were scanned, we don't know if these will be coming to the game anytime soon. So next up is another sort of rumour, but I guess it could be confirmed information, depends on how you take it, but I believe that EA has lost the Colombian partnership or the licence, and it looks like maybe the Colombian League might not be in FIFA 21. I don't know for sure, but I'm going to explain it and I'll see what you guys think. So this was in January, the 31st of January. If you go to like a web archive and you put in the Liga Dimayor, which is the name of the Colombian League inside the Wayback Machine, you can actually see that EA was a licensed partner at the bottom of the web page. And that was on January the 31st. If we go to today's date or a more recent date, you'll see that EA is no longer there. Their logo has disappeared for whatever reason. Now, we don't know the reason 100%, but someone says that uh, it's got to do with the new partnership called uh, Betplay or something that's sponsoring the Colombian League. One guy reckons that because the Colombian League is now sponsored by Betplay, it's going to be out of EA Sports' game because it's a bookmaker and it can't really be shown off to a Peggy 3 game. Now, this sponsorship was announced on the 29th of January, so it does make sort of sense because it is in a similar time frame from when EA was partners on their website. That was the 31st of January, so they have been removed since. I don't really know 100% the reason, but it could be due to this new sponsorship with Betplay. But what's interesting, though, is that the previous sponsor before Betplay came in was Aguila, and I think Aguila is an alcohol or something, and that did not appear in FIFA, but the league was still licensed. It was still called the Dimayor League in FIFA 20. So even though Betplay is a sponsor, EA could still just call it the Liga Dimior and just censor that Betplay part in the game. But I still can't really explain why they were removed and my only valid reason is that they lost the license. They're not partners anymore when this new Betplay sponsorship came in. I don't know, I guess it could be a reasonable thing to say that maybe the Colombian League won't be licensed in the game. So this is confirmed news. EA Sports and PSG will be partners for FIFA 21. Back in August 2019, the club put out a statement that said PSG and EA have a partnership which extends to 2024. So we've got a couple years left on this deal. And this new partnership means that EA can include additional club assets, which are going to provide players even more realistic content. We've already seen in FIFA 20 new Jordan clothes, some kit updates as well, even player faces that got added into the cycle. And recently they also added in retro kits for Ultimate Team. And it does mean that more of that will be coming in the next few years maybe even FIFA 21 as well. There's also marketing campaigns that PSG participate in because they are like a premium partner with EA. So you'll see digital content, you'll see player faces, you'll see marketing campaigns, even Volta clothes, all that kind of stuff that you've seen in FIFA 20 continue for the next couple of years. So if you do enjoy the PSG stuff, this partnership is still going to be in the game for FIFA 22, 23, unless something changes. A few months ago, there was evidence to suggest that Benfica or Benfica players have been scanned for FIFA 21. 
we might even see their faces in the game. It all starts when Jota renews his contract a couple months ago until 2024. SL Benfica put out a tweet, and I believe there was a trailer attached to that tweet. And in the trailer, you could see the player in the booth. It looks like the booth, it's very dark, but it looks like he's getting his photo taken and there's heaps of cameras around. It looks like the same booth thing that EA uses to scan player faces. So it could suggest that this is like leaked footage coming from a recent scan that they did for Benfica. There's a few extra images here. As you can see, you know, he's got his photo taken. And uh, that's about it on that tweet. I haven't seen any other Benfica players getting scanned for the game. This is the only evidence I've found over the last couple months for this. And uh, Benfica is one of the partners with EA, so it does make sense that EA would have scanned their players for the game. They're listed on their website at the moment as executive partners, so yeah, it does support what I've been saying. I think there's a good chance you'll see some Benfica faces in FIFA 21, and maybe even the stadium as well, since they are big partners with them. In terms of the next-gen version of the game, EA has already revealed some details regarding what to expect there. So in terms of uh, controller vibrations, the PS5 has a brand new controller feature which is basically haptic feedback so EA has done something with FIFA for that feature. They said since the impact of shots, passes, catches, kicks, tackles and hits with immersive controller haptics, a new DualSense controller on PS5 with rich and responsive haptic feedback deepens the gameplay experience letting you feel the rhythm of the game in your hands. Now if you have an iPhone it has like a haptic feedback engine so you can feel the vibrations are pretty nice compared to like a standard vibration from an older phone model so the controller will feel very nice as well. Now this could be one of those features that sounds good on paper but then gets annoying very quickly as you're playing the game so I don't know how this is going to go but so far it sounds alright. The next gen version of the game has reimagined player bodies. EA says that next gen technology creates deeper definition in player physiques while dynamic lighting accentuates details such as faces, hair, kits and uniforms to take athletes to a whole new level of realism. So basically more realistic player models. Apparently off-ball humanization is also another big thing in the next gen version of FIFA. Players will be adjusting their shin pads in the 89th minute and they're also going to be uh, having the most authentic character behaviors ever seen in sports video games. So you can see the detail and feel all the emotion of football at the highest level. We're also going to be getting some game day immersions, so you're going to see new contextual player, bench and fan reactions. So you might see, you know, your teammates on the bench celebrating a goal as well with you. Apparently you might see like explosive passion in a last minute winner. Some people have complained, you know, the last minute goals feel the same as like a, a goal that's like 10-0 up or something. So pre-game cinematics are also going to be a thing in the next gen version. You can see an image of Anfield right here. This is probably one of the cutscenes that you're going to get before you play in Liverpool's ground. Basically, atmosphere and game day is going to be a big thing for the next-gen version. It's no secret that the recent global issue has affected a lot of things in the world, and FIFA 21 will probably be no different. I think quality control could be affected here with the global issue, and FIFA 21 could have more bugs than FIFA 20. Now, FIFA 19 and 20 had a lot of bugs and there was no global issue, so nothing will surprise me going into this FIFA 21 cycle, but I'm just trying to warn you guys that it could be a pretty tough year coming up again. In one of the recent earnings calls, there was a note left for investors and it basically talks about the impact of the recent issues on the company. So, at the time, the company had worsening economic conditions that affect consumer spending. A lot of the sports leagues were cancelled. Obviously, now they've opened up a few of them, like their global headquarters in Redwood City, California, and key studios across North America, Europe, and Asia. And they said this could impact, number one, the company's ability to meet product and live service development schedules. Number two, and this is important, the effectiveness of the company's quality controls and game testing measures. And number three, the company's ability to conduct normal business operations. Now, I'm very concerned with number two, which talks about the effectiveness of the company's quality controls and game testing measures, because obviously this would affect FIFA 21 too, given that they need to test the game out to see if it works. And I don't know who didn't test out career mode before FIFA 20 came out. That's still a mystery because no one played that game and shipped the game broken. Who remembers that? They shipped career mode absolutely broken with the lineups. I don't know who didn't play that game mode before the game came out. Anyone who would have even loaded up the game mode would have saw that there was a big issue with career mode on day one. It's still a mystery, man. I still get heated just thinking about it. Just expect the worst going into this cycle because we don't know how badly 
this global issue has affected the game development and game testing. So it's also worth noting that the FIFA 21 release date was changed. It used to be late September, probably around like the 25th to the 28th. Now it's October 9th. And obviously that delay is a result of the recent global issues. So it's no secret that FIFA 21 was impacted. We just don't know how bad at the moment. It's also worth noting that career mode might not have many new features added to it based on what EA did with the Madden franchise mode. Okay, they had their story mode which they worked on, but FIFA doesn't have the journey anymore. So put that aside and this is what they did for the classic franchise mode. Just basically, I don't even know how many, five or six dot points there of just patch notes really. It shouldn't even have been a game, it should have been just patch notes. And it's concerning because I don't know if they've done anything to crew mode this year. It might even just be another patch update, which would cause an outbreak of its own on Twitter. I can picture it right now. And uh, yeah, they need to do a lot more than just that for Madden. But if this happens for FIFA crew mode as well, then we could have a pretty bad year coming up once again. So keep that in mind as well. This global issue could affect the game pretty badly. But anyway, if you need something else to watch, make sure you hit the card in the middle. It'll take you to another FIFA 20 video. I'll see you next time.